Good evening, good evening, good evening. It is Eric, the Biggie Arnold, coming to you live from the sports barn. Um, won't be live when you see this because this is recorded. Uh, but here I am uh, trying to get my little YouTube channel off the ground. Uh, and we are going to be giving you uh, picks on sports, particularly in this case, college basketball. Um, I just recorded an introductory video to try to give you an idea of who I am, what I'm here to do, why I'm here, um, without rehashing the whole thing. Uh, basically, what I want to do is come out here uh, at least four or five nights a week, uh, make videos, post them on the internet, give you free uh, picks on college basketball. Um, that's what I like, college basketball. I like college football and uh, pro football. Um, good at those. Um, my record is over here that you've never seen me do, so this all could be fake news. But uh, if you can read those numbers, um, the college football and pro football numbers are, well, they're excellent, I would say. Um, 60% for the pros and around 54% for college. I'll put that up against anybody. But uh, college basketball, we haven't mastered that yet. <laughs> but I'm going to make these videos anyway, uh, just because I think I do have a model that does work. It hasn't worked yet, but I'm hoping it uses the same principles that I used in college football. So I think it's just a matter of dialing it in. I feel pretty close that we're almost there to having it correct. Um, and I just want to get going on these videos. I, I, I'm tired of sitting around the house just doing nothing. I want to feel like I have a purpose. So here I am at 11.30 p.m. on Monday, January 6th, and I want to talk to you about Tuesday's college basketball slate. Um, I had time to come up with three picks. Um, I probably could have come up with a number of more picks. I just, you know, there's still so many hours in the day. Uh, that's one of the things we're a little concerned about is that um, I just may not be able to generate enough picks to be interesting uh, because I have to come out here and shoot these videos. So eh, we'll see. Um, we just need to get into a rhythm. Uh, once we do that, I think everything will be Jake. Um, at any rate, let's talk. Let's see. I mean, let's get let's get down to business. Um, Toledo, eight and six. That number there, if you can read it, a hundred and three. That's Ken Pomeroy's uh, uh, ranking. Ken Pomeroy, somebody that's a hell of a lot smarter than I am, who has his own website where he crunches all the numbers and comes up with any number of ratings, rankings, uh, pace ratings, uh, defense, offense, what have you. That's his total number for Toledo. They're the 103rd best team in the country, uh, according to him. Well, they're gonna be getting five points uh, as of now uh, at Kent State. Uh, Kent State's 11 and three, and their rating is 96. Um, so uh, let's see what we have here. Um, these are actually, uh, um, I don't know if you're from the Midwest or not, but um, I have a degree from the Ohio State University. So I do have a lot of uh, 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 contacts and friends in the Midwest, um, none of which are going to know anything about this game. But my point there was uh, uh, we do love us some action. We love the Mac. Uh, the Mac is a... Fun conference, we like them, uh, uh, particularly in football. But you know, in this case, let's look at the basketball. Um, Kent State, uh, we kind of are thinking Kent State might be down a little bit here. Uh, they have a better record, but they're just coming off a big, big win uh, on the road at Bowling Green. Uh, they're coming home. They're coming home against an opponent that they've uh, beaten. Uh, the last couple times. Uh, so I kind of think this might be a spot where they're just kind of maybe not taking Toledo as seriously as they should be. Um, to me, these two numbers 
I uh, mean, these teams are just about equal. Um, and I don't think that the home court advantage um, in a conference like the MAC is really worth anything. Uh, these arenas are a quarter full, maybe. Um, I've always kind of thought that the value uh, of home court is intimidating the referees to giving you that extra call or two, getting the uh, other team's star in foul trouble because the fans are right on top of the referee calling them an asshole. Um, you, you just don't really have that in the MAC. Uh, so uh, two equal teams, eh, maybe that number should be two or three. Uh, five, five I think seems high. Seems high. So we're going to be taking Toledo. And I put two stars next to that. What I've been trying to come up with is some stratification of picks. In other words, um, I don't always have the same opinion on every game. Some I just, you know, oh my God, this is the lock of the blah, 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 blah. And others are kind of like, eh. And when I came into this, I almost had the opinion that it just anecdotally, it felt like, um, the ones you really love, the strongest opinions, those are the ones that always lost. <laughs> and then the ones that you kind of could give a damn about that you usually didn't bet on but because, well, I'm leaning that way, but I just don't trust it. Those always won. So I started actually keeping track of this and putting a, 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 a value on the games that we pick. Um, and this is one thing I'm excited about. My finding is that it is what you think it is. In other words, your strongest opinion is you win those more. Um, I use a three star system. Three, two, one. Three stars were 87 and 54. And that's overall uh, uh, college football, pro football, college basketball. Uh, so that's 61.7%. I find that exciting. Um, two stars. Uh, we're down around 54%, and then one star, we're just barely making money. In fact, we're probably not. Uh, 157 winners, 149 losers. That works out to 51.3%. Uh, that's probably losing a little bit when you account for the VIG. Um, so we're trying to weed out the one stars, just stick to the two and the three stars, and we're looking for more of those three stars. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a three-star game. If for no other reason, it's college basketball, and I'm not yet convinced I know what I'm doing in college basketball. Um, these videos may just be of comedic value as you watch me flounder about and throw out losers night after night and watch me tear my hair out. Um, but uh, for now, let's just say Toledo. The uh, 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 Toledo Rockets, I almost said Mud Hens, that would be foolish. Uh, so, uh, plus the five. Now here's a game you might actually be able to watch. I think this thing is on the ACC network, probably. Uh, I don't get that damn network. My, we're, we're in the sticks here in Eastern Pennsylvania and, uh, it, we just don't have all the, the channels yet. Um, uh, ESPN has stratified off all these ACC games. This would have been on ESPN probably two years ago. But now they've cut that aside and charged the cable companies extra to get the ACC network. And most of the cable companies have just said, forget it, we're not doing that. Um, and, and that's what mine has done. So um, at any rate, you're looking at the national champion Virginia Cavaliers, 11-2, and two, uh, all the way down to 26 in the Pomeroy rankings. Uh, the, they're nine-point favorites on the road at Chestnut Hill, Boston College, eight and six, um, 147. Um, Boston College, they, they, that's a team that's just so, um, they've been so forever. Um, it's kind of like the DePaul of the ACC. Um, they're just not, they, they, they don't match up there at all. Uh, Virginia has not had a good start. 
Uh, I believe they're four and nine against the spread so far this year. Um, having a big hangover after the championship last year. Um, I think one of the reasons is because um, they just play lockdown defense. That's what they do. Um, and if you don't have everybody on the same page, busting the ass, pulling on the rope as hard as you can with that kind of a system, uh, you're just not going to live up to expectations, and that's what's been happening. Um, however, uh, in this spot, uh, we're entering ACC play. Tony Bennett is a master uh, at Virginia. He's a vastly underrated coach. He's probably one of the top five coaches in the country. Um, far out ranks is a... Uh, uh, compadre at Boston College. I think the dude's name's Christian. I'm not even sure about that. Um, you're getting a premium play here with the coach. Uh, it's a lot of points. Uh, Virginia's just, you know, they're going to be in the 60s if we're lucky. Um, they are really going to have to hold down Boston College. If Boston College hits any kind of threes at all, they'll probably cover the number just because Virginia just isn't going to score that much. They just slow the thing down so much. But I think you're going to see the Virginia that you saw last year. Um, it's go time. I mean, it's go time. Uh, I, I'm going to look at my notes here because I, 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 I think that Virginia now has been practicing. They've been at home for two weeks now. They haven't played any of these uh, uh, holiday tournaments. They've just been at home. They've just been at home. They've been working. They've been practicing. They've been... Uh, getting on the same page, honing their skills, getting ready to play their suffocating defense, which I think they're ready to break it out here in ACC play and get off to a hot, big, fast start. And I think that's what happened tomorrow. This opened at eight and already jumped up to nine. Um, I like Virginia. I like Virginia. Uh, they burned me over here in pre-video picks. I've, uh, these losing picks, there's a bunch of Virginias in there. So uh, I, I, I haven't exactly been blowing up the uh, uh, wind column with the Virginia, but we're going to go again. You're going again, Virginia. Two stars. And finally, finally at 9 o'clock uh, on the East Coast, uh, we're going to have TCU... 10 and 3, 50 in the Ken Pomeroy rankings, getting a point at Kansas State. And they're 7 and 6 and 87 in the Pomeroy rankings. Um, Kansas State, they have been, uh, had a couple good years now in a row. Um, two years ago, I believe they went to the final eight and got beat by the, was it the final eight or the final four? No, it must have been the final eight. Uh, they got beat by uh, Loyola. Uh, um, uh, they had their chance to get to the final four and lost to Loyola. Um, and then last year, they again made the tournament and got upset in the first round. Uh, they were a four seed and got beat. Um, so I I'm not a big fan of either coach. Uh, Bruce Weber, eh, just, you know, I think he's just so. Um, he he's gotten to the tournament a couple times now, so... You know, he, he usually has a pretty good team, but right now this team isn't very good. Um, and I don't think he's going to make the tournament this year. Um, he, in their most recent game, um, as you can see by the record, struggling. They're at Oklahoma. They need this win. They're winning. They're up 61-54, to 54, under five minutes to go. And they ended up losing 66 to 61. Oklahoma reeled off 12 in a row uh, in the last four minutes. Boom, they lose. Uh, I think that's gonna, uh, uh, you know, that's gonna weigh on them. That's gonna hang over on them uh, because, well, Jesus, I mean, you got a seven point lead and under four minutes to go, and the other guy's building. You gotta get that game. You can't piss that away. Um, so that's got to really be deflating when you didn't get that one. Um, TCU, eh, what do we what do we know about TCU? Uh, well, they're another team that's coming off one of these long home stretches. Uh, uh, that's one of the things I like. 
That's one of the things I look for. I, I do think that advantage is a team when they have a, a long stretch at home, that way they can uh, continue to practice, continue to practice, continue to get into a rhythm, get to know your teammates. Uh, like Gene Hackman said in Hoosiers, the team, the team, the team, the team. Uh, so uh, I think TCU is a team that could be uh, uh, on the move. Uh, certainly I think that they are probably better than Kansas State. I don't think you're going to be getting a huge home court advantage there in um, Kansas State. Where do they play? I'm going to have to give that one. Uh, is it Manhattan? See, I'm under pressure here because I know I'm recording these videos. It's Manhattan. Uh, uh, um, but um, I've looked it up. Their, their attendance numbers, uh, yeah, if they were playing Kansas, yeah, it'd be a sellout. TCU? No, no, it won't be a sellout. Uh, it won't be close. So I think that uh, you're going to be getting value here with TCU. That is the pick. And I put two stars in that one too. Uh, probably initially, I don't know, we'll see a whole lot of three stars until I get into a little more of a rhythm, until I start to feel a little more comfortable that I know what I'm doing with college basketball. Um, but uh, we got uh, Toledo, Virginia, and then TCU uh, in the nine o'clock game. Uh, so these are our picks for Tuesday. Let me write that on the board here. I didn't write that down. Tuesday, what is the day? Tuesday, January 7th, so that's tomorrow night. Uh, uh, as I said in the introductory video, I do want to try to get these picks up for you um, a good um, 18 to 24 hours before game time. Um, I, I just don't see the point in putting up a video three, three hours before kickoff or game time, tip off, uh, no one's going to see it. And if they do see it, they may have already placed their bet on somebody. So what, what the hell's the point? Uh, I don't think there are a lot of videos, or at least of the daily variety, that get up overnight. So I'm hoping that there might be a niche there for me. Um, but, you know, that aside, um, I think that's all I have for you here. Um, this is episode one. So I'm sure it's going to suck. Uh, we'll try to do better the next time. Uh, we'll be out here tomorrow night. We'll do it again and let's see what we can do. Uh, so from me to you, nice to meet you. Looking forward to seeing you again. Good morning.